Is there any sports you guys did before that you have uh, like Don't found fucking again? Yeah, uh, rugby. Oh. <laughs> rugby? Yeah, yeah. Like rugby. I actually like rugby. It's football. I hated. I hated doing football. Oh, like soccer. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, Joey, 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 you in England? You're in England, Joey. <laughs> it's fucking soccer in it. Get, get, get the I fuck out. Because I was, I was always the goalie, and I am. Oh, <laughs> For some reason, that checks out. I, I <laughs> that was, fucking checks out. I, I was the only kid that didn't mind just eating shit, and that is literally the goalie's job. Yeah. Just eat shit constantly. <laughs> That's why it's so perfect for you. I don't know. Oh why. my god, I, I was, I was like, I, I was like trying to imagine. I cannot imagine kind of playing football. And as soon as you mentioned goalie, I was like, yeah, actually. That makes Ch sense. Checks out. That checks makes out. Sense. Like, I was always just like, uh, I was r always pretty athletic, uh, but I just, they were like, all right, we need someone who doesn't mind jumping. They're putting their face first to someone's feet. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. Uh, I loved it. Uh, and then they also, because it was always, it was, it was the UK, so it was always rainy and muddy. Mm. Yeah. So you always, you always got the most dirty. It was horrible. Yeah. Um, Before every football match, Connor yeah. was like, so is this ranked or? <laughs> or I was like, yeah, so I, yeah. I, was, I was super invested, but then I happened to join uh, when I when I was they needed a goalie and I I think I was the only one who liked doing goalie so mm. I was like yeah I'll, I'll be a goalie and my dad was really happy that I was playing in a football team he was like oh my god <laughs> that's my boy <sighs> he's, so, he's such a British man yeah uh, and um yeah it just happened to be the one year where our team was cracked mm. like they were all they were all very very good footballers and so. I would play football, uh, we were in this games, and I would just be there for like 40 minutes doing nothing. Just standing in the cold. Mm. I wouldn't even be warm, because I'm just waiting for them to, the ball never came to our side of the pitch. Right. And I'm like, man, this sucks. <laughs> you got the easiest job ever. Yeah, it just... was the easiest job ever. And then I remember one time, because I was just zoned out, because the ball never came, uh, that the ball just came by and I just completely ignored it. It went in. <laughs> Because I was just standing there. Because I just didn't. I was like, I was like, I was thinking about what, what, what like when I was going to play video games later. And I was like, oh yeah. And then I heard, heard like, Connor. And I heard like, doof, ball like thudded in front of me and it went in. And I just wasn't paying attention. And I got so much shit for it. An unbelievable amount of shit. Damn. Uh, and I was like, oh. Yeah, I forgot I have to do this job sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you literally just went NPC mode. Yeah, You're just yeah like, pretty much. You yeah. went AFK, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was so bad at kicking it as well. So they, I, I would always give it to someone else to kick. So yeah. I couldn't kick the ball. I was, mm. just, I, I was so bad. Yeah. I, I, I would just jump at it. Yeah. Did you have a sport you played? Uh, basketball. I think uh, hmm. I think I think I briefly mentioned this, but yeah. I was on the basketball team in school by a complete accident, just because they nice. needed someone tall, mm. and I just happened to be tall. And uh, would you yeah. do it again? Yeah, I think I, yeah. I enjoyed basketball. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be a goalie again. I think it'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> If, I got if, to, if you like, have something to do, yeah, if yeah, I actually yeah. had to save the ball, yeah. it'd be fun, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was never really that good at football. Mm -hmm. um, the sport I actually really enjoyed was hockey. I, I don't know why. Um, hockey. As in ice hockey or hockey? No, no, just like field Rock, hockey. Field hockey. You, you, field. You, we, have, we have Canadians watching this. You can't say hockey. They get really offended if you refer to that as hockey. Well, they can they can have their fucking it's, ice hockey. God, yeah. it's field hockey. No, Obviously, I mean hockey. ice hockey is just hockey, guys, right? Uh, right, my I fellow mean, hockey enjoyers? I mean fucking hockey, guys. You know, the sport in the Olympics, guys. Come on. Come we, on had, guys. we had neither in Australia. So. <laughs> yeah, you had AFL, right? Yeah, we had that, AFL. I play AFL again. So AFL you, is you a lot said of fun. You don't like rugby. Yeah, but... AFL was, I don't know, AFL was better, in my opinion. Because I think I got hurt less in AFL. Like, AFL AFL was more tough because there was way more running and, like, kicking involved. Whereas rugby was just, like, if you were a little skinny Asian boy like I was, then you would be sent to the just wing. Dodge, just dodge. You, you would be, no, you, it was always for me, after, you know, during school, if we were doing, like, a rugby game together in the, in the schoolyard. And be like, all right, Joey, you're the skinniest and the fastest, so you're going to be at the wing. And I was just like, okay. And the problem was, was that it would always come over to the wing, and then there'd oh, just be these dudes team? who were just like three times my size who were like, I'm going to fucking destroy you. Yeah, but there's no better feeling than sprinting into someone and, and like duking them. Oh, uh, dude, whenever I pull off like a devil bat ghost, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, let's go. No, it was such a rewarding feeling. That's it what was, I knew. Yeah. I wanted to be toxic on, on League of Legends. <laughs> I was like, man, if only I could turn around and talk shit to this guy <laughs> after yeah. I went past him. <laughs> well, the few times I did get hurt and uh, did get tackled, you I was like, like oh, yeah, shit. never again. Yeah, I'm it's good. A, it's a humbling. Do you remember the first time you, um, as a kid, that you realized you could get hurt? Because uh, as a kid, I was pretty like fearless, and then that I remember I had one injury that really scared me, and I was mm. like, oh, oh, it really hurts when you fall or get hurt. <laughs> no, I think um, I had that. Min I had the opposite mentality of like I was such a pussy, where I was just uh, like, I don't want to do anything that potentially gets me hurt, and I think that's why I 
avoided getting seriously injured as a child. Yeah, but surely there must have been a point where that taught you pain, right? Yeah, because as a kid, you're pretty like Yeah, when my, when my sister would beat me off, maybe, <laughs> but like... <laughs> That's when you realized? That's when I realized. Like, you know, oh brother gosh. and sister, like, you know, just fucking bantering, and then it would start a fight, and then someone would throw a hand, and then obviously the other one would fight right. back, and my sister was just like, no holds barred, I'm okay. going to fuck Actually, you up. I, I gotta ask, because Wait, I... Is your sister younger than you? Yeah. She beat you up? Yeah. What the fuck? She totally beat me up. She drew blood a couple of times what on me. Fuck? Yeah, it's fucked up. <laughs> She's so chill. What happened? <laughs> she let out all the frustrations on yeah, this she guy. Got yeah. it, she got it out on young Joe. That's how she became the chillest yeah, girl. Yeah, exactly. Of all time. Exactly. I, I, got, I got to ask, because, you know, I, I, I don't get, I never got this experience as like an only child. Mm. But it seems like every time I talk to someone who had siblings, um, there just was like a moment in your life where you went from like beating the shit out of each other mm. to just like, I got kind of just like realizing one day, actually, they're kind of fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, you always think that. And it's like you're, when you're at home, you just, when you're around people all that time, you just get angry. But it's like, it's like yeah. if I was fighting my brother and someone else tried to like punch him, I would, we would yeah. just both turn. No, the, it, it's not like, like, it's, I think in your head, you're thinking like, oh, during childhood, yeah. you hate each other. <laughs> yeah. And then as adults, you're cool. No, it was literally every other day it would change. Yeah. <laughs> it was like one morning you would wake up and be like, God, my, my sibling is an absolute cunt. And then the next day you'd be like, Nah, it's, they're the best. Which is, yeah, which is why it's like really cool in a way that like, because I guess living with like three other people your age must be such a different human experience to having. Yeah, no I feel brothers. I feel Connor had a very different experience to me. Yeah, you, you had three yeah, brothers. You, so, yeah. you were all three brothers, and there was a lot more of you guys, right? Yeah, Whereas yeah. I only had a sister. So well, because was... I mean, I had to learn to share things, and that was I hated that. I didn't right. have to share. Yeah, it was like I, I, I saved up for an Xbox, yeah. and suddenly they wanna, they wanna play on it, and mm. I, got, I only get two hours of my Xbox. That doesn't feel fair. <laughs> Did you uh, get? But uh, I had to. Did you get hand me downs? Uh, yeah, of course, of course, hand me downs are a thing as well. Uh, right, which is probably why I had terrible fashion sense my entire life because <laughs> I was just used to wearing what I was given, yeah, and yeah, I kept yeah. that mentality going into adulthood. <laughs> and then you become a YouTuber, and then people send you merch. You're like, oh, all right, cool. I guess I'll just wear this. <laughs> the cycle continues. <laughs> yeah, it just never ended. <laughs> I was getting some hand me downs just in different formats. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you. I, it's just it's such a bizarre thing to think that. I, I had that experience and I just can't, you didn't. And I'm like, I couldn't yeah. imagine did you, not did being you, around did you have, what Like, what was the point where you kind of like start treating each other equally Nicely. with respect? <laughs> how, I, was like, I was like thinking about how to work. It's when this. you leave. When you leave? Yeah, yeah when you leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's when both of you leave your parents' house. Or if oh. one of you leaves and you come back, you're like, man, I actually kind of miss, yeah. miss you having your Yeah, own. totally. Uh, oh, yeah, like I, you know, now that I don't see my brothers all the time, I'm, I, you know, it's, I'm like, man, I wish I got to see them more. Yeah, yeah. no, totally. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you never know what you don't have, uh, what you have until you don't have it. But it's right? nice, right? Absolutely. You, if you think about it, it's like, it's like having like a, it's like another you who's yeah. experienced everything you've experienced, mm. but slightly different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like really cool. Cause like, I'm really, I'm really, obviously I'm really got a really good relationship with my parents, but it's like, it'd be cool to have, it's cool that I have someone who's like similar age as well, who's mm. yeah. has the exact same kind of experience. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's a really weird way. Did you, did, you ever, did you ever have a point where you're like, I fucking hate this cunt. You know, I, 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 I was like, Oh, totally. hundred percent. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Like, I think it's more, more often than not. You know, especially while you're growing up and you're still trying to like you haven't even you figured your, lessons, yeah. yeah, you haven't even figured yourself out at that point, let yeah. alone trying to understand someone else as well. Like especially one who was living with you, you know, yeah. every day. Like that was tough. And yeah. like, yeah, we'd constantly get into fights. But then, you know, we, we would always have this thing where it's like, doesn't matter how bad the fight was, the next day, we were always chill about it. Like yeah, we'd well, wake up and well, it's like it's nothing happening. Me, but <laughs> like we at least like, did, okay, did you have that point moment that your your parents had to make you like make up oh, like with each other. Times. Oh yeah, yeah. Like oh, okay. my dad was like, "I will beat you up if you don't get back together with your sister." Like, <laughs> like make, make, like just fucking be, that be sounds, good. That sounds bad out of context. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will beat you up if you don't get back with your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I said a phrase that. God's like, damn, this sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Alabama family. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, yeah, like, God. I think, I think the good thing was, was that, uh, my family was never a family that would, like, hold grudges or anything, yeah. so, like, it, no matter how bad the fight was, or no matter how bad the, the quarrels might have been, like, the yeah. next day it was always, like, no, let's just, like, you know, we're still a family at the end of the day, let's just leave that behind us, and, you know, 
Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, because it's, it's always been weird for me as like hearing about sibling kind of like, you know, uh, life. Uh, because I think the closest thing I have is my cousins. I think mm. that's the reason I'm so fucking close to most of my cousins because I mm. a lot of my cousins are only, only children like me. Um, but like we have like, I guess a similar bond without going through all the fighting that I hear that siblings go through. And mm. I, I think that's just because when we see each other, um, you know, there was only like a few times that we would able, you know, I actually, when we were kids, we hung out quite a lot, but we didn't have to see each other every single day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't imagine how, <laughs> I can't imagine how that is. Yeah. So just, yeah. just imagine like, you know, uh, like, like just think of like your, I don't know if you have a favorite cousin, but like think, think of your favorite cousin and just imagine like living with them every day for the first 20 years of your life. Yeah. Right. That's basically what it's like. Well, the you know, sibling dynamics kind of like accurate. Is it just like, is it like the youngest one gets like the most spoiled and the most attention or normally. is it the yeah, oldest no, one? No, I think it depends on the parents. I like, as, 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 as the older sibling, was it like, did your parents look at you to like look after your sister? Oh, totally. Okay. okay. Yeah. Normally the oldest has the most responsibility. That's pretty yeah, cool. Totally. Right. It's like, Hey, can you, can you be, can you take care of them? But I think in my, I think in my case, it was a bit different because I think it, if we had to compare like who got spoiled more, it might've been my sister just because like she was the daughter of the family. Right. Yeah. Whereas like, Oh, Sydney definitely got the sport, the fucking most yeah, out of right? her. Yeah. Everyone. It's always, it's all, it's most of the time it's the daughter that gets spoiled by the dad. Right. Yeah. You know? And, uh, and then the, the son, AKA me would be like, all right, I'm going to whip you in a fucking shape. <laughs> <laughs> no holds barred. Yeah. You the you the one doing the discipline. I'm gonna man. make you a man. <laughs> How did that work out? Um, Dad, I think you failed. <laughs>